Hi guys, let's move on to the next question. We're doing question number three. It says construct a frequency polygon for the following data. Now this question does not specify whether you should use uh, a histogram or direct. So your choice. Even if you use histogram, it's fine. If it says if you don't use histogram, that's fine. So we will do it without using histogram. So let's look at the data. Okay. When I look at the data, I realize that the upper limit of one and the lower limit of the next one is not equal which means I will have to convert this into continuous data for which I will need an adjustment factor. If you remember it from the previous video, it is 15 minus 14 in this case. So lower limit of one minus the upper limit of the previous one divided by two. So one by two, which is 0 0.5. I'll add 0 0.5 to the upper limit and subtract it from the lower limit. So nine and a half to 14.5. 14.5 to 19.5, 19.5 to 24.5, 24.5 to 29.5, 29.5 to 34.5. Next, doing that is a class mark. I can add this two and divide by two, or even I can add the unadjusted or the discontinuous data and divide by two. I will get the same answer. So 10 plus 14, 24 divided by two, that's 12. That's 34 divided by 2, 17. We are increasing by 5. So this is 22, 27, 32. Remember, if we're doing a frequency polygon, I need a data point which is class interval prior to the first one and one after the last one. So this will be 35 to 39, frequency 0. And this will be 5 to 9, the frequency will be 0. My Actual will be four and a half to nine and a half. The class mark will be seven. The actual here will be 34 and a half to 39 and a half. And the class mark will be 37. Last column, which is not mandatory, which I always write though, for my convenience, what do I have to plot? So I have to plot the class mark on X and frequency on Y. So that's 12 with five, 17 with eight, 22 with 12, 27 with 9, 32 with 4, and 37 with 0. So this is what I need to plot. So let's look at plotting. Now on the x-axis, I have to go from 7 all the way up to 37. So let me start with the first one with 7 and increase every by 5 because that's how it's increasing. So 12, 17, 22, 27, 32, and 37. Perfect. On the y axis, I have to go up to 12. Right? So I, if I have 13 here, I can go up to 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Continues. This is y axis. I'm plotting class interval on this side and I'm plotting frequency on this side. You will be able to write it like this also. Please note, uh, uh, I do not have enough flexibility on this software. So I'm restricted slightly, but now I think we are fine. Seven with zero. Uh, before I start, notice that I have said earlier as well saying, the gaps between each block should be the same. In this case, one block is five. Here as when I'm starting, zero to seven is a direct jump, which means I put a kink here. This kink is basically a device to help me draw my graph easily. I jump from zero to seven, the data point I did not need. And after that, I'm using proper, uh, each block will be of equal units. In this case, each block is of five units. So first thing I plot is seven with zero. Next is 12 with 5. So this is 12 with 5. The next is uh, 17 with 8. So 17 with 8. Next is 22 with 12. 22 with 12. 27 with 9. Uh, 32 with 4. And 37 with 0. Uh, I will join them using a scale. I will write big and bold, use a scale. 
I do not have access to a scale on this software. So that's why I'm using a free hand. You will use a scale. I repeat and repeat. If you do this graph using a, without using a scale, using free hand, the way I'm doing, you will straight away get zero for the question. It's a frequency polygon. You know what a polygon is. Polygon is a, a closed shape with straight lines. No curved lines, straight lines. So this is how we've drawn our frequency polygon for this question. I will end this video here and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.